Wait. Before you run off. This is very important. In this video, you will see a washing machine that may look different from yours. However, don't worry about the look. What to look for is if you have six cycle lights in a row under the control knob, like this. If you do, then this repair guide will work for you. In this video we will be discussing the most sold top load washer in the world which is sold at Lowe's, Home Depot, and other local stores. Let's get straight into it. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Vertical Modular Washers, VMWs, are the cheapest and most sold washers worldwide. They are manufactured by Whirlpool and packaged with different brand names such as Maytag, Roper, Kenmore, Amana, Crosley and many more. VMWs have a secret diagnostic mode that can tell you what's wrong with them. This diagnostic mode makes anyone and everyone an instant washer repair pro. I will show you exactly what to do to get the washer to diagnose itself and tell you the issue. VMWs come in all different shapes, sizes, and brands. They have a life expectancy of 3 to 5 years. All new appliances are only lasting 3 to 5 years. VMWs are the new washing machine prototype. The old style washer can no longer be bought new. You will find tons of these machines without agitators. They are fading out the agitator, which is the device in the middle that washes the clothes, because it takes up too much room. VMWs are considered disposable, and most repair companies will not work on them. However, they will still charge a service fee. The main parts of a VMW are the lid lock, water pump, suspension rods, shift actuator, and control board. 99% of repairs done on VMWs are on these five parts. Here are some of the main problems and related parts with VMWs. Won't drain, water pump, won't turn on, control board. No spin, shift actuator, won't open, lid lock, banging or shaking, suspension rods. In my expert opinion, VMWs are pieces of junk. Most have no agitator, are poorly made, and have an annoying lid lock. Their life expectancy has gone down to 3 to 5 years from 30 to 40 years. While their price continues to go up. If you are considering buying a new washer, I would advise you to purchase the vertical modular washer and, the 5 year warranty add-on, I guarantee you will wish you did if you don't. There are many other washing machines on the market but they are a waste of money, they don't last any longer than the VMWs, and cost more because of the functions it comes with, not because it's a tougher longer lasting appliance. I hope this information has helped you in the right direction. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Entering recalibration mode. With the washer shut off and the basket empty, no water or clothes inside, and with the lid shut, enter the recalibration cycle. Here's how. Turn the control dial 1 complete rotation, 360 degrees, counterclockwise. Stopping with it facing straight up. Quickly, within about 6 seconds, turn the control dial 3 clicks clockwise, 1 click back, and 1 click more clockwise. All the green status lights blink when you successfully activate the diagnostic mode. If the status lights don't blink, try again, this time turning the knob faster or slower. In the diagnostic mode, with all lights flashing, select the calibration cycle by turning the control dial 4 clicks clockwise or, 4 clicks right. When you're on correct setting the rinse light turns on, then you simply press start. And then it begins the calibration cycle, which runs for 2 to 3 minutes as it checks all the cycles and functions on your machine. When the calibration cycle ends, if all goes well, the lid unlocks and the washer shuts off. Now try your washer to see if that solved your issues if not, continue to the error code video. If after 20 tries or more, and your arm feels like it's gonna fall off from trying so much, then odds are you have a bad control board. If your washer starts the recalibration but doesn't finish it, you need to pull the error codes and find out why. More. No water or clothes inside, and with the lid shut, enter the recalibration cycle. Here's how. Turn the control dial 1 complete rotation, 360 degrees, counterclockwise. Stopping with it facing straight up. Quickly, within about 6 seconds, turn the control dial 3 clicks clockwise, 1 click back, and 1 click more clockwise. All the green status lights blink when you successfully activate the diagnostic mode. If the status lights don't blink, try again, this time turning the knob faster or slower. Now, we need to retrieve the codes, follow these steps to display the error code lights. Step 2, turn the control dial 1 click clockwise then, press the start button. 
Now you are reading the error codes. From here turn the control dial one click clockwise to display the first saved error code. Just the sensing light flashes if no error code was recorded. If this is happening to you but there is still an issue then you will need to watch our other video. The control displays up to 4 error codes. Step 3, read the error codes. Error codes for the VMW washers have two parts. The first is the letter F, followed by a number, and the second is the letter E, followed by a number as well. Which lights are illuminated indicate the numbers. The sensing light on indicates, the letter F. The sensing light off, indicates E. The wash light equals 8. Rinse, equals 4. Spin, equals 2. And cycle complete, 1. For example, for error code F5E3, when the sensing light is on, the rinse and the cycle complete lights are on. Adding all three together equals 5. This means the first part of the code is, F5. Then, on the other flash of lights, the sensing light is off, but the spin and the cycle complete lights are on. Adding them together makes 3. The second part of the code would be E3. That's one code. The same error code flashes repeatedly, until you turn the dial one click clockwise, to show the next error code. Turn the dial again and see if you have any other codes, if there is no more codes then you're done. To exit diagnostic mode, turn the washer off. Now, you have your error code, use these images in this video, to look up your error codes, look in your washer repair manual, or, just google top load washer error code and enter the code, and it should come up no problem. Now you know the problem and what's causing your washer to not work. Now it's time to find the parts needed fast and cheap. Watch our next video for the quick tutorial on how to do this. My name's George and I have repaired over 10,000 washing machines, dryers, and stoves and have 10 plus years experience running an appliance repair business. The tips, tricks and insights I'm about to share with you, you won't find anywhere else on the internet. 